Hail Mary time for Jacksonville. Can we make a miracle happen? Mind your ass! Kevin, we'll take a hand off, cut it in the left side of the This game's honestly kind of getting boring at this point. Um, kind of wish this guy would just leave. Yep. You gonna leave yet? DJ Cameron across the 10 and no one's gonna catch him. Three. Oh my god, I scored! It's Marquis Lee breaking the tackle! Are you kidding? Marquis Lee! What is up, everybody? My name is Sir MC Coy. Welcome back to our Calgary Flames GM. It's been a while. I've been uh, very busy with uh, just life. So it's been hard for me to do anything remote, uh, remotely related to YouTube, but so I'm going to refresh you guys real quick. We have played 12 games in the first season. We are 5, 4, and 3. Uh, not bad, not good, but it's good enough for third place in the Pacific. Um, take a quick look at our team stats real quick. I'm not going to take too much time here to show you the leaders. Staging leading the way in points. Our goal leaders are TJ Brody and Sam Bennett. So that's interesting. Uh, I'm not sure what this team is quite yet. I'm not sure if we're a playoff team or not. Um, let me take a look at these lines real quick. Um, so far, so good for this team. But this is a team that if we're going to succeed I into the playoffs, I would almost certainly have to make a trade at some point for a top six winger. Because you look at these lines and they are uh, there isn't really much depth. Our top scoring player is on our fourth line. Not really sure how that happens, but that that's happening. And then, of course, our defense is probably the strong point, excluding this right here. And then, who do we have scratched? That ah, okay. And those are our scratches for the AHL, real quick. We've got some potential hiding. We've got Klimchuk, Drew Shore, Shinkarook. So we definitely have the ability to be a good team within you know a year or two but if we can do it now uh let's do it now you know there's no better time than the present almost said future so i'm just gonna get right into it we're just gonna start simming away we went five four and three in the first month let's see what we can do now against colorado there's a 2-1 win oh okay can we beat a good team like pittsburgh though uh, no. Okay, so we get shut out by Pittsburgh. I'm done with that scouting. All right. Let's do some scouting real quick. Um, do, do, do. Definitely want to continue. I want to scout forwards and defenders. Honestly, I need to scout everything. We need goalies, too. An 8-3 to three win over Florida. All right. So, 3-1 and one to start the month of November. Not bad. Not bad at all. Against Tampa. Oh. Someone's online. Forgot to turn off uh, those things. I'll be right back. I'm gonna turn those off real quick as we win two more. So five, one, and one. All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna turn those off. All right, boys, we are back. I uh, had to turn off notifications. I forgot to do that. It's been a while. So moving on against New Jersey. They're nine, eight, and one. That's surprising. They're a good team. Chicago, we take a loss to them. So we had, you know, we seem to be a streaky team. There's a nice overtime win against Anaheim. All right. So, I forget we're a Western Conference team, too. I wanted to say we're on a Western Conference trip, but we actually just got back from a Eastern Conference trip, I guess. No, we've just been playing a lot of Eastern Conference teams. All right. A road back and back against Arizona and San Jose. And we, wow, win both of them. But we have... Poirier is injured. Okay. Where were you, Poirier? Okay. Uh, this is going to be annoying having to edit these lines and remember who was where. Do I want Colborn or Boma? I don't have Colborn. Uh, oops. What did I just do? Wrong button. Alright, we're going to do this real quick. I'm actually going to uh, do some power video editing, and I will be right back. Alright, boys, we're back. Um, didn't really change much from what you were seeing. Brandon Bullig is there. I noticed also, when going to Brandon Bullig, he... He has two goals. Okay, I didn't know that. He is not exactly happy, because we've been scratching him. So, 
Brandon Bullard, depending, might need to be off this team when Poye comes back from. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Oh, my God. Now Backland is injured. Oh, my goodness. All right. Uh, we're just going to best lines it. There's got to be something better than that. All right. Uh, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go to roster moves and see if we can get a depth guy. That's not him. All right. So what I ended up doing was calling up Drew Shore. Um, just due to these injuries, I'm not sure how long he's going to stay up here. But he does, I believe he has a two-way. Yeah, two-way contract. So it wouldn't be a bad thing if I sent him down again. So I do want to get him playing as much as possible. He was on the first line in Stockton, which I believe is the name of our AHL affiliate. So, um, all right, I'm just going to best lines these guys. All right, as long as Shinkarook, Klimchuk, I need these guys on the top lines, getting the most playing time as possible. Okay. So that is done. Just trying to do the best. Poirier's back. Okay, we're, we're gonna be right back again. Editing, best lines, whatever. We'll be back. Okay, so it took a little bit, but we got the lines. Um, I'm having a lot of issues with uh, Boma. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and trade him. Um, our locker room is seemingly doing pretty good, but I'm pretty sure, in fact, we have a meeting with him right now. So, because I sent him down, I wanted to see if I could just send him down, and he did not at all like that. Yes, he is currently disengaged. I can't say I'm too thrilled. Uh, I'm just going to tell him to fuck off at this point. Uh, don't just complain. There you go. Yep, you can piss off a little more. Drew Short, see, thank you for having a positive positive thing to say about the team having a positive impact thank you so um boma will be traded i'm not sure what we're gonna get in terms of return but i am trying to build a good positive locker room and fortunately lance boma is not wait no not lance boma right no not lance boma who is it who keeps bitching? Oh yeah, Brandon Bullock. I was gonna say, yeah, Lance Bohm is actually like someone who has a little bit of value to this team. Unfortunately, Brandon Bullock does not. Um, I'm gonna just trade him to a team in the, yep. Uh, there we go, this makes sense. Um, I'll try to see if they have, see these are two guys that I don't really necessarily need. I'm trying to see if anybody has prospects, like Carlson, huh, huh. What about this guy, Justin Shug, you're 23. Eric Carl, that's weird. I, that's weird. That's super weird. Why is that a thing? Brock McGinn, eh. Um, let's see what we can get out of Carlson. He's got a lot more value, but if I think throw in maybe this fourth and then this sixth we might make it work if this doesn't work i'm gonna do a little bit of video editing until i can figure this out because i'm not gonna make you guys sit around and watch me do this so here we go okay yeah i'll be right back i'm gonna try a few things all right, so we're gonna try this one. Bolig, a third and a fourth for Carlson. Will it go through? Oh, come on. All right, I'm gonna throw in that sixth from Nashville. I'm not trying to give up too much more. If this doesn't go through, I'm gonna go try to find someone else. Six from Minnesota, my bad. This should hypothetically go through. Let's try it. Okay, yep, I'm gonna try to find someone else. Uh, we will be back. Okay, boys. Um... Definitely went down a different road. We went from going to dunk bully to try to find a piece that would help make this team good right now. So why not get the ageless wonder himself, Yarmir Yager, add another team to his belt. 
We're gonna do the same bowling. They're interested in bowling. And when I added Rasmus Anderson, an unsigned offensive defenseman, his potential is high 7th D. And most of the time, players with high 7th D get to be like 80, 81. I'd rather not have that. And then our third, considering we have, what, two, three second round picks this year? Yes. So we're gonna go with that. Will it go through? No. Huh. Okay, let's try doing this then. Let's send their second back to them. Also, no. Okay. They're making this a little interesting. They're they're interested, but they're saying that they want just a little bit more value. So we're gonna put this guy back on. Um, I don't want to give up their second. If I'm giving up a third, I'd like to keep those seconds. So maybe I'll offer up this fourth two and this sixth. We don't need this many draft picks, honestly. So. Bullock, Anderson, third, fourth, and a sixth for Yarmir Yager. Will it go through? And there it is. Oh, he lost. Yes. Oh, why are you anxious, dude? You, you know what you're doing. You're you're like an ageless wonder. All right, so I'm assuming yes. We're gonna have to best lines. So best lines. I put Yager on the first line. So Yager went from skating with some young guns to. Some more young guns with Monahan and Gaudreau. I like that. That is an interesting combo. Lance Bowman is flying up. Okay, Lance Bowman, you might have to start seeing third line or second line time at this rate. Let's see what your stats are looking like. Oh, okay, never mind. You're staying where you are. I might even move you down. Oh my God, yes. Furland, if you're scoring at that kind of rate, unless Drew, okay, see Drew Shore isn't doing anything. So I'm thinking Furland and Stage, and we're just like a super combo. So I'd like to keep these guys together. And then Colborn, hopefully you'll get a boost out of playing with these guys. I have way too many lefties. Oh my god. I have two right-handed forwards. <laughs> okay, whatever. Okay. Um, who is scratched? Oh, see that's not... Oh yeah, he's hurt. And Poirier, see I don't like him being scratched. He's either gonna be scratched or I'm gonna send him down, which I think at this point, I think my best option would be to send him down. He's 20, so he wouldn't be too upset with playing in the AHL. And at this point, I think he'll have better development down there. So we're gonna select him, and then in the system, we are going to go a little bit off of, uh, Okay, never mind, I can't find him. We're gonna do this guy, Mr. Derek Wolf. He's a grinder, I believe. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, edit lines. I'm assuming it's my AHL lines that need work. Best lines. So, okay, that's gonna keep Shinkarook with Hamilton and Poirier, then Klimchuk with Arnold and Kenny Agostino. Okay, I can deal with that. So, we haven't got a lot of simming done here. We have to do a little bit of team management stuff but I think we are finally ready to sim. We got Yarmir Yager on this team. Let's hope we can uh, become a legitimate threat now. We've been losing a little bit. There's an overtime loss to Boston, but at least we're getting points out of it. Backland is available. Okay, see, this is gonna create a bit of an issue, but I think at this point, we're just gonna end up sending Drew Shore back down. So, best lines. Who did that just scratch? See, I'm pretty sure it just ended up scratching Stajan, which we can't really have that happening. So we're gonna put Stajan back where he is, um, which then makes me think we have to put Boma back with Stajan, right? No, it was, it was Fairland. Okay, so as long as he's there, um, Backland is back. He's doing okay. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and send Drew Shore back down to the AHL. That way he can continue to develop. Uh oh. Wait, why would he have waivers? He has a two-way contract. I don't get that. Um. What? How? Is there something I'm missing here? Yeah, I, I'm sorry, Drew Shore. Believe me, I don't want to have you scratched. All right, we're gonna sim a little and see what happens. All right, 
Still third place, so that's good. Oilers are having one hell of a year. Uh, we have a player morale meeting, so we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. It is with Yager. May need a shakeup. Dude, you just got here. How are you... How are you going to say that? We'll see. We'll see. Um, but... I'm trying to figure out why I can't send Drew Shore down. Um, like, I should be able... I don't... Son of a bitch. Okay, we gotta figure something out here. Because I need to keep Drew Shore. But... I mean, you look... What is he? A medium bottom six who's 24. He's not gonna grow that much more. But I don't want to piss him off at the same time. Um, are there any wingers? The only thing that I could possibly see is Yoris being replaced. But, you know, I don't even see it being worth it. I think we're just going to let it go for now and uh, just kind of see how he reacts to it. And um, just go from there, I guess. Hopefully we can keep up with these winning ways. We beat the Rangers. That's good. All right. Now we got a, we got a long road trip. We lose the first. Into Dallas now. There's a win. St. Louis. We need to start stringing some wins together. Loss, win. See, we're alternating. Win, loss. Okay. Overtime, loss, shootout, win. Loss, win. Loss, win. Loss, win. We need to start stringing some together. This isn't playoff teams don't, you know, win. By doing that kind of trash. Uh, let's go to OHL defense. I should probably like more specifically scout players, but I don't know. This is generally my strategy. Yep, there's a loss after a win. I just don't understand it. Stockton team's going doing good though. 15, 5, and 2. All right. Oilers, one of the best teams in our division. We beat them. All right. Okay. Two in a row. Nothing big, but it's still something to be excited about. Two in a row. Alright, Brody, what do you have to say? Yeah, uh, 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 I guess I'm gonna go with the second one. I don't really agree with it, but I also really don't agree with any of the other options that were there. So we're just gonna go with it. Alright, two in a row. Come on, let's get a little street going. I'd be happy. Okay. Okay. Sorry I said anything. Alright, let's see. We got time. Let's try to get up to the all star break and see what goes on. Colorado. There's a win. All right, 2013-5. There's a loss. Another loss, but at least we got points in Tampa. Arizona is not a division old team, so it's not too bad. I'd like to see us beat these Western Conference teams. San Jose. Another getting points. See, I'm not too mad because they're overtime and shootout losses, but a loss is still a loss. But we beat Edmonton. New Jersey, they're... 20, 23, and 4, that's interesting. Columbus, they're not a good team, and we lose 6 to 2. Come on, what are we doing here? Overtime win, win, and come on. Nashville, Nashville's a good team. I saw 28 wins right there. Okay, so 24, 16, and 8 heading into the All Star break. I'm not sure. Oh, I thought this game froze for me. That would have been really sad. Just because of that, I'm going to save. Stuff like that scares the shit out of me. This game is so janky. I love it, but it's janky. Janky is all hell. So, there we go. Um, holy shit! See, I'm here thinking we're having a rough season. Yager, good job. I'm here thinking, eh, you know, we're doing okay, but we're not doing good. But we are currently actually in first place in our division. But you see, other than the last... <laughs> The last place Anaheim Ducks, only five points separates first place from sixth place. Oh, wow. How do we, I'm just curious, how do we compare to the Central? Yes, yeah, see, I, we're not a strong division. I, I kind of assumed if we're, wow. This is interesting. Whew. That's scary. Does not take much. We got the highest goals for per game though. Oh, we also do have games in hand over just about every team but San Jose. So that, we do have that going for us. Uh, goals against is okay. Uh, we have the top power play in the division. Um, 
Penalty kill is pretty average for the division. We have the most shorties for. Our home record is horrible. We do not like to win in front of the fans, but on the road. And four, three, and three in the last ten. So uh, the entire division has just been like, yeah, playing mediocre. So I mean, if we could step it up and like get a win streak, like I've been trying to say, that that would help us so much. I feel like that would really kind of propel us to like securing a spot. So let's see this first line: Yager, 16 goals; Gaudreau, 12; and Monahan with 12. Okay. Sam Bennett, though, leading the team with 19. Oh, I, I see first line center all over you next year. Dougie Hamilton with 12. Backland with 13. That's good. Okay. I'm liking what I'm seeing mostly. Everyone seems to be getting into the scoring except for this guy. Um, the plus minuses are not good, though. I see a lot of minuses in here. Yager is one of our few positive players. Yager, Stajan, Furland, Yoris, Weidman, and Poirier. That's it. Um, but we continue to win games. So, uh, all right, six power play goals for Yager, five for Bennett. Let's see who's scoring our shorties. Dougie Hamilton has two. Wow, that's interesting. Brody, right? Wow, we have five shorthanded goals and four are from defenders. Damn, that's got to be some really shitty power play units that we're playing up against if that's happening. Game winners, Bennett, Goudreau. So the youngsters coming in clutch. All right, I like it. Uh, stage has got a pretty solid shot percentage. Nice. Uh, let's see who leads the team in hits. Other than that, I'm done looking at stats. Okay, Giordano. Actually, I do want to look at our goalies. I constantly forget about goalies. Um, Ortio seems to be... Playing a lot better than Jonas Hiller. Huh. Huh. That's weird. But do we go and say, oh, this guy's our starter? I think it's hard to go ahead and just put him as our starter. Huh. What are we looking at? Okay. Um... I think I'm gonna sim one more month. Yeah, we'll sim one more month. Try to we'll try to get up to the trade deadline. And then we'll just kinda of leave it open to see if any more trades do need to be made. I'll let you guys decide on that. Huh, this is interesting. There's a win. Okay. Columbus, Vancouver, this is a divisional game. There we go. Alright. After the all-star break. Alright, Calgary's coming out hot. There we go. Four in a row after the All-Star break. That's our longest win streak of the season. Brody. It's nice to be part. I, I agree. I think we're heating up at the right time. Second half of the season. Let's let's make it count. All right. So four in a row right there. That's good. Let's uh, sim another four. Another San Jose, Arizona road trip. We get one win out of it. So five, one, and oh. After the All-Star break. I like it. Okay, I need to start looking at goalies. Uh, let's go to the Liga and look at their goalies. Anaheim, there's a win. There's another win, 5-2. That seems to be our magical number. We've had three 5-2. So since coming back, we've been, uh, yeah, we've been looking really good. All right. Let's keep it up, boys. Simulate up to here. Vancouver. It looks like we're pulling away from them, but a 1-0 loss, that's not helpful. Anaheim, we beat them again. LA, we seem to do really good against the uh, Central Division, which is interesting because on paper they're a lot better than we are. We're going to sim up to this day, up to the trade deadline day. We're not going to sim past it, but we're going to sim up to it. And wow, what a month of February. Oh my god. So go back, looking at February, we go... Three, four and one, five, six, seven and two, eight, nine, ten, eleven and three in the month of February. Wow. That is huge for us. And you see, we definitely pulled ahead in our division. Um yeah. Oh my god. Wow. In just that month, the point separation went from being five from first to six to eighteen. Wow. 
I think, oh, I didn't even realize LA and Anaheim were in our division. Oops. Huh. Okay, well, my bad. I don't really follow the West that much. But wow, look at that. Whew. That's crazy. Wow, that's, that's nice. I like it. We have the best goals for in our division. Um, second best goals against. Still have the top power play unit. Our penalty kill isn't the hottest, but that's okay. We definitely improved that home record. That's good. And 7-3 and three in our last 10. Let's see where we just rank in the entire league. Just curious. 78 points. That has the fifth best team. We, um... I think we're far, far away from being a uh, President's Trophy team, but we have the third best record in the West. That's not bad at all. Okay. Huh. So, kind of a surprise year for the Calgary Flames. But then again, is it? I mean, they were a second round exit team last year. So, I mean, according to expectations, at least expectations that were given at the beginning of the year, this makes sense. What they're doing right now this year, not so much. But this year, in this, this makes sense, honestly. The acquisition of Yarmir Yager, he has been leading the way on that first line. Uh... I'm almost thinking move Sam Bennett up. He's an 84 now, but Monahan's also an 88. Ooh. I don't know. That's that's a tough one. Um, so before we call this video quits, I am going to look. Well, first let's look at the lines. Uh, we're gonna leave this open just for a possible trade. Um, I like our top six. Honestly, I think. Well, let's see what Mason Raymond's been doing here. Yeah, I'm okay with our top six. Our top six isn't the best, but they are making it work. And that's what matters, in my opinion. Um, if anything, maybe a right winger. Um, oh, he's technically considered a second round forward, so... Um, I think the only thing that I would say is either a depth defender... You know what, yeah, just depth defense. Uh, just to make this bottom pairing a little better. I mean, plus minus one. <laughs> you know what? I even have a hard time saying that because they're not even doing a bad job. Um, I, you know, unless anyone can think of an amazing thing for this team, I don't really see the need to make a trade. But if you guys see something that I'm not seeing... Um, definitely put it in the comment section. Uh, throw some names out there. Please keep it realistic. I don't want to hear any, oh, go get Sidney Crosby. That's not going to happen. We're the Calgary Flames. Come on. Um, yeah, I would just like to see the growth of some of our players. In the NHL, Sam Bennett has grown. That's good. That's kind of what I would expect out of him. And in the system, these are the guys that I'm really looking for. Pollock. Huh. Alright. He looks like a baby. All these people I want I really expecting to see. Like I'm looking for Klimchuk, he's up to a 72. Shinkrook. Uh Poye. Okay. I'm just uh yeah, I just wanna see this. Whoa, wait, wait, what? Kyrie Ramos in our AHL? Huh. When, uh... <laughs> when did that happen? Um, you know what? It's too late. <laughs> Poor Kari Rama. You know, it's too late. Um, I'm not gonna do anything with that. Only because I think our goalie tandem is working. Surprisingly, somehow, this goalie tandem that we have right now is working. And I don't want to mess with it. So, good for you, Brody. Uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna leave it at that. So, uh, we're just gonna go to standings real quick just to look at what would we be looking at if the playoffs were today, which I don't know how easy that's gonna be, but we're gonna give it a try. So, we would be, uh, the first seeded Pacific and the Central. See, even if we were in the Central, we'd be in third place. So, that's not horrible. But, yeah, looking at that. So let's see, 75 and 70. Oh, 75 and 70. Okay, so we would be facing 
in the first round. I keep going to the wrong things. We would be facing the St. Louis Blues in the first round. Wow. That would be an interesting matchup, for sure. So, um, yeah, leave some comments if uh, there's some suggestions for trades or line changes, anything like that. we got 20 games left in the season. Um, yeah. So, without further ado, my name is Sir MC Coy, and have an awesome, awesome day. Go Flames.